In this video, I will be making the jump scare function more accessible throughout the project. You should watch the first jump scare video and also one of the actual method videos. Find your master animatronic actor and open it up. Find the jump scare custom event. This dealt with disabling player input and rotating player to face jump scare. We will be moving this code to the player class. In your content browser, find the player blueprint interface class. In here, I will create a function. There is an add button at top and I call it on jump scared. We will also add another function called get player camera. This will be getting a reference to our camera that we look from. This will have one output. Get the type camera component. You can name this input camera. Compile and save afterwards. Find your player class. In your player class, you will have two new functions. Open up the get player camera function. Get your camera from the component section and connect it to the return node. Find your on jump scared function and right click it to implement function. This will give you an event to write code. We are going to transfer the old code to the player. First get your player controller. Next get a disable input. Break the line and connect it to the player controller. Next set ignore look input which stops the player looking around. Set it to true. We can remove all widgets. Get player controller and set view target. Add a self to it. This will make sure we go back to our player camera if we are on the security cameras. I connect input to the view target and put remove all widgets after the view target node. We can get our player camera and set world rotation. This forces us to face the front and see the jump scare shot. I will promote this to variable. Call it star rotation. On event begin play, right before you create the widget you can set the variable. Get your camera component and get world rotation. You can set this to star rotation. Now we can go to the animatronic class and replace the code. Check which node you are deleting. Delete the disable input and set look input. Delete the remove all widgets. Delete the set camera world rotation. That should be all for now. Get player pawn and get the on jump scared event. Connect it to a get actor hidden in game node. Bring these method functions. I will be keeping the 3D mesh method. We don't need to update this function. We will need to update the green screen method to work with the player camera. Go to your green screen method and select all the nodes. Right click and convert to function. We can delete this event. Rename this function. We will also need to replace it with our old event. Delete this event too as it is gone. Search for the new green screen function if you want to use this method. Open up the function so we can fix the code. Straighten the code and after the is valid node, you can get player pawn. Make a lot of room for the code. From get player pawn, you can get the interface called get player camera. Promote the return to a local variable. Check that it is a local variable called local camera. Connect that to the next node. Find your calculations. Here add a local camera and connect it to the get world location. Connect it to the get forward vector and also to the rotation. Now we can clean it up. Also we are not using these inputs. Click your function and remove those inputs. Compile and save the asset. We are done now. You can make sure that all the jump scares are working. I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing and sharing. See you next time.